That is huge. Put your foot down there. That is huge. Don't kill it. I'm not. Centipede? Some kind of centipede. That's our first wild critter of the morning. I have to identify that thing. Bobby, come out. I don't want to come out. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You'll tell everybody. About what? Uh, okay, but I don't know why you're acting like this. <sighs> okay. Put the camera down? Yes, I put the camera down. I don't want anybody to see this. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, the pantyhose. <laughs> Bobby's got some pantyhose on. They're knee highs, y'all. <laughs> see, they're knee highs. Bobby's knee highs. I'm fixing to roll them down. <laughs> Three. Just a little idea to uh, keep your keys on your person before you go out on a hike. Some people put them in a mesh bag in their backpack or their camel back or whatever, but real simple idea is put a safety pin on your keychain. That's a good idea. Safety pin it to the inside of your pocket. And it stays there no matter no matter what. Wow, good idea, Bobby. Or you could do like me and just lose them randomly on the trail and then have a scavenger hunt later. <laughs> Perfect. Go. Hello, uh, this is Matchstick. And I kind of forgot your hiking name. What's your hiking name, Bobby? Noah also. Or Chief Thief or okay. what other four-letter word she wants to call me. All those. <laughs> All those. All those. Um, we are actually at South Turkey Creek Trail today, once again, and we are doing an updated, uh, we're filming the spring version or the summer version of the Turkey Creek Trail, and it's going to be all green and beautiful, and we're excited about it. I'll put a, a link to the uh, April video that showed you how dead everything is coming out of winter in the description box and you can compare it to today's video of how green everything is going to be. This is kind of also, it's Memorial Day weekend and in like remembrance of everybody that served and all the people that are gone that served our country, I feel like this is a good tribute kind of is to show this beautiful trail and to kind of honor them. Yes, I want to echo that thought. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Yes. I couldn't, we, we could not be out here on this trail without you. We salute you. And we're off. My turn. Don't fall and land on my face. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had video of you too. Yeah, it is uh, greened up and trying to grow over the trail. <laughs> yeah, that's what I found out Wednesday. Don't be the first one down the trail early in the morning. I know, I always love seeing somebody else on the trail. I always tell them, thank you for clearing the spider webs for me. <laughs> there was a girl that used to hike this trail before me every morning, and I'd always tell her thank you. Spiders don't care. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be mean no matter what. 
Yep. <laughs> no That's what makes the videos years. good is yeah, I know. No us being 49 years is not gonna happen. <laughs> us being us. Yep. <laughs> This is how I change them. This will always go like this. <laughs> I'm glad Dave don't have a problem with it. Likes different hair colors. Uh, yeah, Dave, yeah. your husband? Yeah, he would be in trouble if he didn't like all my different hair colors because <laughs> I wouldn't listen anyway. <laughs> I gotta be me. Gotta he never knows what you're gonna be for you. He goes to work, comes home, and you're a different person? <laughs> Actually, one time I went from blonde to red and he didn't even notice. No way. <laughs> yes, because I changed my hair color so much. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thanks, Bobby. Hey, that was the return for the Harbor Bay trip. <laughs> Heads up. That was a lot softer, though, so you didn't get me back as good as I got you. Heads up. Check the link on the uh, Harbor Bay Trail. I'll put a link to it in the description, and you can see that little segment where I ran into a branch while videotaping. And she was the guide. She didn't even warn me. <laughs> It's so pretty this early in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he's trying to shove me into this so I can get snake bit. <laughs> no, I just wanted you to get a size relationship. Uh, it's really pretty out here on the South Turkey Creek Trail this Friday morning. Indian blankets are in full bloom. Um, Bobby said I hike like a girl and I'm like, I know, uh, here's a shirt that I want to get and it says I hike like a girl, try and keep up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he does. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if I keep up with him. Hopefully she doesn't hike me into the ground on this trip. <laughs> well, you just did 16.9 miles the other day. Yes. So I did the, you're going. I did the full trip. Dare me to what? I dare you to jump in. Jump in? That's <laughs> uh, uh, probably still a little cool yet. I'm not sure what the water temperature is. You're gonna have to I had a blowout. Time. Had to fix my gator to keep uh -oh. stuff out of my shoes. Oh no. So gator problems. I think we're all ready to go now. Hashtag gator problems. She's doing this with a coffee cup in her hand. I'm coming. What is it? Look at how they've oh, eaten my. that. They've turned it into a lace leaf. Aren't they cute? And they're going to be big after eating all that. And you can see their little poops. <laughs> They're excrement all over the leaves, too. Look that up and see what they are. Or what they turn into. They're cute. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, sorry, babies. All you gotta do is slow down and take time to look. Yeah. I didn't 
didn't even notice this the other day. Put them back in their home. Can we go now? Are you done playing mother? <laughs> the caterpillars? There you go. <laughs> I gotta put her back in the house. <laughs> would you want to fall out of your house? No. Off your deck and not have some, I'd want some giant. I'd want some back. giant help me back <laughs> into my house. <laughs> there. <laughs> they're, they're back on their deck. Yeah. The videographer at work. You know, one of us has got to work out here. Impromptu should be your new hawking name. Leave us a cord. Now, these are lamb's ears. I what think. is it? No way. These aren't lamb's ears. They kind of look like it because lamb's ears are soft. Is it a gourd of some kind? Yeah, it probably is. I wonder if it actually produces, like, gourds. These. Please. I wonder if these go from I think the, the blossoms are yeah. what produce the gourd, yeah. I wonder if you can eat those. I think I want to call it a restaurant that you can eat them. Well, I'll let you taste it out and you <laughs> tell, me, tell me what you All find right. out. All right. It tastes like butter. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like butter? Nope. <laughs> no. Definitely not better. Okay. No, not good. We I do not advise this. this. We are professionals. <laughs> good Got some stickers on it. Mesquite. You got, the, good. you got the caffeine and the protein now. Caffeine and protein, got my breakfast. Bug breakfast. <laughs> she has all the luck. I do. <laughs> yeah, that poor bug. I feel for it. Gotta check the lipstick because I just ate that bug, so now I gotta you see. The bugs yes, I ate the, I ate the bug and I swatted my lipstick and it's supposed to be long lasting, but it was a little bit was on my cheek, so I gotta check the lipstick if I ate a bug. <laughs> Got done whatever they were doing, now they're part and company. Man, it looks dark back up in there compared to uh, April. We may not be the scariest things on the trail. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> oh, that little one looks like it may be feasting on the big one. I'm surprised they're motionless. That's me shaking, not the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> if you show up on trail with blue hair one day, I know where you got the inspiration. <laughs> Thank you.
And there's the split rock we videoed back in uh, April. That'll put those three rocks up on top seven years ago. And that crack has opened up and the rocks have uh, slithered down inside the crack. It's pretty cool how erosion and just weather can do that. Yeah. That's awesome. And how much greener it is, folks. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful out and here. And all the purple flowers up there. So pretty. for the seeds to protect them. That's probably what poked me when I went There's to touch Developing the, the mesquite bean. Yep. I understand, I heard a story one time that the uh, Indians in the area would grind up the mesquite bean and use it as a sunscreen. Really? Natural sunscreen. I wonder if that worked. I've never heard that before. Well, try it and let me know how it comes out. <laughs> I got it. I'm like, there's hardly any on this trail. What's he doing? What? He's, he's alerting you to his presence and I think that's Making a, himself look I bigger. think that's a stink bug stance. Probably. I'm not sure. Or things would be stinky. Er. <laughs> yeah. At least it's your shoe, not mine. I know, right? Oh, he does not like There's a spider in there? No, oh, it's a bee? You're not allergic to bees, are you? No, it's a bee. It's a bee? No. It's a bee. This is home. Here's one of the hazards <laughs> walking on the trail is you get stickers in your socks. The thing is, is I usually don't get any, so I feel like that Bobby has talked to them pre-hike and told them to stick to my socks just well, to prove he was right. Well, I'm wearing something today that I forgot to wear on the Wednesday hike, my 16.9 mile hike, and I had stopped four times to clean my shoes out. I've got my shoe gaiters on, Smart. and it's keeping the stuff out of my shoes. And protecting the hose. Oh, uh, and protecting. <laughs> you gotta protect those hose. You can't be getting Yeah, I those can't stuff. get a runner in the hose. And plus they're pink. You don't want anyone seeing pink. that. Pink. <laughs> no, it's the Indian blanket that's got pink in it. That would be really pretty though to get pantyhose that color. <laughs> Do I need pantyhose of that color? He told me no more pantyhose jokes, but I don't listen well. <laughs> Oh, Say that again. My coffee's officially gone. I am a new woman. <laughs> so we can officially start hiking now? Yes, we can officially start hiking and I won't be yelling or saying any curse words. <laughs> yeah, the, the yelling has been bad. I know, right? The yelling has been bad. <laughs> well, I got my coffee now. I'm a new woman. <laughs> it's, it's almost like we were married. <laughs> That's what he does. But she's married to Dave and I'm married to Diana. <laughs> But I don't know why she's yelling at me. Well, there wasn't any elbowing involved. So no elbowing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't slap you. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing. No blood, no bruises. Yelling. <laughs> just yelling. <laughs> We're walking down the east side of Short Creek. Headed toward Rock Bridge. Talk. I'm holding the Sentinel in my hand as we speak. He's kind of heavy, but he's nice. Now this is the sentinel or the guard, guardian, the rock we uh, talk about while we're on the trail. This is in Short Creek on the east side of the creek. It's not like Lord of the Flies, that name was great. Lord of the <laughs> Flies with the ray. <laughs> how, was, how was Lord of the Rays people? <laughs> and there's the gate in Short Creek. 
headed down to Rock Bridge. Well, I take it it's not a long creek, it's a short creek. It's what's that? <laughs> you named this short creek because it's a short creek, not a long creek. <laughs> it's short. It's it's short creek? It's not a long creek. Not a long creek? <laughs> That's what that name implies to me. It's tiny. We're coming up on the Rock Bridge. You see how much greener it is on May 28th compared to April when we were down here. Yeah, I'd like to see some water running through there. I think we're at the head of Short Creek Canyon, Gully, Draw, whatever pioneer term you want to use. There's the trail, Rock Bridge. There has been some water through here, right there, moving the debris down the gully. Say again? Oh, yeah. Hey, when you want to grow, you will find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. If you want something bad enough, you'll get it. That tree wanted something bad enough. <laughs> yep. Looks like some sage, some grass. I think that's a cottonwood. Huh. That's so And cool. mesquite growing there next to it. It just found its roots and went right through the rock. A little cottonwood seed drifted into the rock. Some dust blew in there and that's made a, a place metaphor. to grow. That's a good metaphor for lies, that you can find uh, your footing if you just have enough uh, gumption to. <laughs> you can make your way no matter what with the mm -hmm. right attitude. Okay. Finally getting to see Speedy up ahead. See how fast he can trek. <laughs> he did go 16.9 miles the other day, so I feel like he should be slower today, but he's doing pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Not bad for 67 no, and also 16.9 miles. He almost hiked as long as his age. <laughs> or wait, he hiked longer than his age because he went 16.9 miles. Maybe on his 90th birthday, he'll do 90 miles. We'll see what happens. See how good I do this camera work while I'm walking. walk and chew gum but for some reason I'm doing pretty good with this I think it looks like a big antelope horn from a certain distance. Am I doing this correct? Yes. <laughs> Presenting the prize. Well, just think of like Will of Fortune and Vanna White. Vanna White? Yes. But that looks like, uh, it looks like an antelope horns to me. If you look at a certain way, it looks like the skull and like an antelope. It's cool. Like seriously, look at it, and it that looks like the head, the skull, and then the horns sticking out. Skull right there. Yep. And the horns. 
Mr. Kenobi. Yeah. Part of it. I posted this and a lady said, is that a huge skull? And I was like, nope, it just looks like it. It even has the eye holes and everything. Hmm. We'll see how I did. <laughs> okay, again. Um, we were talking about stickers stuck to socks and he asked if I wanted to turn back and I said, they're not that bad. And I said, if you've ever stepped on a goat head sticker, now that is bad. That's like the Legos of the nature kingdom. <laughs> if that gets in your foot, you'll feel it. Yes. tail end of the lake, Lake Meredith. It's up about 72 and a half feet now, thanks to clouds like that that are hopefully going to dump their moisture upriver in the watershed area. We're going around the big point toward Turkey Creek. Alrighty. I went up the hill last time, so we're gonna get Bobby this time. Scaling the mountain. Then I'm gonna be the one doing ketchup. And he's right, you can't really see what's on the camera when you're filming, so I hope I'm getting him. I really can't see him. The sun is making it kind of hard. I think I've lost him. There he is, telling me to come. <laughs> what a gentleman. gentleman he's just like not even waiting <laughs> you're trying to hit a rock no i was seeing what it would be like if we fell this rock represents me ah! <laughs> i'd go down that hill and that rock would stop me <laughs> it's still rolling now it's just oh it is oh but i'd still be rolling we're gaining elevation and the trail is getting a little narrower
perfect little spot. <laughs> Do you remember the Lion King movie where he yes. held the light up? It's the sun. And there it is. You can see the cottonwood trees that make up the forest down in the valley. And we're still about three quarters of a mile from the valley floor at this point. Bring a machete? Uh, no, I don't have one of those on me, unfortunately. Yeah, if we were in the mountains, that's what it'd sound like, wouldn't it? Yeah. Your river, but it's uh, wind. At our cabin in La Vida, that's what it sounds like, is behind the cabin, the little babbling brook there. Yeah. So cool. Once more into the jungle, she leads the way. If I don't hear anything from her, I turn around and go the other way. Yeah, if she comes running back this way, I better run too. See a little bit of a storm over there? Oh, yes. It's not bad. It's moving away. Maybe a little bit of an outflow or verga. I've never heard of that before. We're getting close to our destination. Just about time to turn around. Yep, we're not doing 16.9 miles today. I'm with them. <laughs> I'll be the voice of reason. No 16.9 today? <laughs> no. The voice of reason? I mean, I could do it, but that way back. Oh. Now, you remember the discussion we had? It took a real man to do that 16.9. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it did take a real man, but I mean, like, I am a real woman, so I feel like I could have done it in less time. <laughs> <laughs> With less stickers. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> I may do that one day just to prove you wrong. All right, there's, I dropped the challenge. That women could do it better. Because <laughs> I act like a girl. <laughs> Try and keep up. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've seen a show where they stuff these with meat. They stuff this whole thing with meat and then wrap it in foil and cook them. I've got to look that up because I am positive those are edible. And if they are, I may try one sometime. I may do a little cooking segment. <laughs> Put some cheese on him. You better get your machete out now. <laughs> I got machete hands like Edward scissor hands. <laughs> this is not gonna be a lot of fun on bare legs, trust me. <laughs> I wonder if it's fun on bears with legs. <laughs> bears with legs? <laughs> they wouldn't notice it. like walking through sandpaper.
In the April video, I was carrying a 30 pound pack. This time I'm just coming with the kettle back, a couple of energy bars, and uh, I was feeling pretty bad about this time. One go to the wigwam. Yeah. Yeah, she promised me an ice cream cone again if I'd do this. We made it to the trail junction again. And which way did you go for that 16.9 miles? 16.9 miles, I went in that direction there on the east side of the uh, Turkey Creek. Okay. And then came back down the uh, wow. west side. There's no trail. And if you <laughs> get off the trail and wind up facing that pile of rocks on the other side, you got off the trail, you got to backtrack about a quarter of a mile and re retrace your where you came from and uh, so if you want to go if you want to go 16.9 miles and even more than turkey creek do what bobby did yeah get lost and go get lost over there well that's yeah. part of the fun of walking these trails is to get lost <laughs> only if you could find your way back <laughs> yes you gotta go home <laughs> dave's waiting on melanie and diana's waiting on bobby dave's probably sleepy <laughs> I hope it's out. grown up quite a bit <laughs> since we were here in April, early April. Somebody, the hunters have made a little fire ring down here and it's a little harder to walk into. But it's pretty and shaded down here among the cottonwoods. Look, they will come. <laughs> this is all we've got right now is uh, What's left of a fire ring that some hunters have left down here in the Turkey Creek Valley. Yeah, this ain't no taco. What are you eating? It is a RX bar and it says exactly what's in it and not much. No tacos, no guacamole, and no Bobby no cheese, Schiffman. No Bobby Schiffman, nothing. No BS. <laughs> it actually Alright Bobby, what you got? <laughs> you gonna make it? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. We're gonna sit here and rest a little, drink some water. I brought a Cliff Bar chocolate chip. Wait, is my I favorite. thought. Wait, you didn't find a taco truck? <laughs> didn't find the taco Darn truck. Darn it. <laughs> Blocks Energy Chews. This is strawberry, and this one is Tropical Punch. Yummy. And uh, another piece of advice you go out on the trail, don't leave home without it. What is it? First oh, aid kit. You first never know aid. When you might need a first aid kit. Yeah, you probably Blisters, needed one the other day. Bee sting. <laughs> I'm not sure what I got stung with, but I've got Benadryl just in case. But, uh, like a Boy Scout, you always got to be prepared. Gotta always be prepared. That's good. Good job. Okay, we are headed out after resting for about 20 minutes, watering up, eating our energy bars, energy blocks. Made a phone call home. Yay. Going back out the way we came in. Please don't hurt yourself. We neither one of us are spring chickens anymore. Walking out of the shade into the daylight. It's almost waist deep, isn't it? Think about the Texas Panhandle, the hike in may be all nice and perfect, but the hike out you're going to be more tired and the weather may be hotter, so it's going to hit you a lot harder. So you've got to always factor in the changing of the weather. It was nice and cool this morning, but it's warming up this afternoon. Oh yeah, it's going to be a hot one today. Or at least nice. No rain. No rain this afternoon. But we didn't do the rain.
rain dance, so <laughs> we kind of saved it. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> later today. Yeah, if we want rain bad enough, we'll do a rain dance. Climbing back out around the big point and toward Short Creek. We've already reached the high point on this. Slowly working our way downhill to Short Creek. And here it comes, the descent. And of course she's waiting on me. Waiting on the old man. Definitely don't want to descend down there. No. I know one long move and you're really good. It's kind yes. of scary. You want to be careful out here. So what? That reminds me of Cousin It. Cousin It? <laughs> From the Monsters? Yes. <laughs> yes. It looks just like Cousin It. It must be his cousin. <laughs> I wonder if his name is that. <laughs> that. There you go. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I can't see the screen. <laughs> Let me walk really fast and get there. Feels like I'm carrying that rake. <laughs> Good memories there. Rake girl. That's my name. There's a vulture. There's Bobby. 
You okay? What's the matter? Walking by the what tree? Um, I call it the antelope tree. Antelope tree. Know. Yeah, no wind. Nope. We're exiting Short Creek. We can see the sentinel or the guardian up there on the hill, standing watch. We're fixing to make it out, buddy. Going through the jungle. Uh, Melanie in the jungle. Uh, I got used to it like this. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh look out! Look out! There's hardly a breeze out here today. What stuff? There's just these cottonwoods floating in the air. Oh, is there? I yeah, didn't see them. Boy, this is a rare sight in the Texas Panhandle. This Smooth lake. You see it? Right in no. front of you. Bees nest. Right there, right in front of you. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> I believe this is about as close as I want to get. Get some honey, Bobby. No. <laughs> Diana would like it. Uh, Diana can come get it herself. Don't, that's, uh, they're swarming. It's not really a nest, but they're just swarming, protecting the queen till they decide where they want to build a nest. That's been the dream. And it looks like the flower's moving. Isn't that crazy that it makes it look like the flowers alive? I didn't know that a flower would be like one of those ones that eat several flies. Several different, several different types of birds in that, a bird, bugs. <laughs> I'm tired, folks. <laughs> you have done a lot of hiking lately. Yeah, 30 miles in the last three days. Got another swarm we didn't see this morning. About half the size or a fourth the size of the other one. Lake Meredith has gotten busy. There'll be a few people out here enjoying the holiday weekend. We've definitely enjoyed a day's hiking on the South Turkey Creek Trail. Yes, we have. It was a good day. Good day to hike. Good day to be alive. Good day to celebrate. Yep. Happy Memorial Day to all you veterans out there. Thank you for your service. Okay, here's hiking man. He be hiking. He did 16.9 miles the other day and we did almost 13 today. So he's done a lot of hiking in the past couple of days. 
67 and a half and that much hiking. Pretty impressive. And I hope I'm getting him. Because I can't see a, a daggum thing. He did it. He did it. Now he's dead. <laughs> it. Oh, you made it. Okay. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Okay. Did you get the fall? <laughs> we did it! I did it. 